So it's Thursday, it's weigh-in day, um, yay! It's actually my second weigh-in since I started really seriously, seriously on a plan. Um, but I didn't get my camera till this week, so I didn't do a video weigh-in for my week number one. There just isn't one, so don't even bother looking for one. Um, so I guess I'll start with when I first weighed in, um, at that point, I weighed 218.6, I think, and uh, then last week I weighed in at 213.8, so that was quite a bit of a drop, and this week a uh, quite a bit smaller drop, 210.6. So I only lost 0.2 of a pound from yesterday, but you can't lose a pound a day forever, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, it's slightly over three pounds. That's great. Uh, I'm still doing it, so I'm still going hard. Um, I also took my measurements because, you know, it's good to see uh, physically if you're changing at all, too. So um, all my measurements stayed the same except my waist. Somehow I only lost bulk in my waist. I lost four inches in the last week. I have no idea. I haven't been doing sit-ups or anything like that. Uh, like I said, just aerobics and trying to hold my stomach in all the time, and um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's working, so great. Um, what else? I still can't see it in my face. <laughs> oh, every day, I hope these jowls go away, but they're not going to, so. So I have a lot of plans today as usual and uh, part of those plans are working out and part of them are drinking water and part of them are eating great. Um, the only thing that's going wrong with the way I eat so far is that I still get busy during the day and then forget to eat. So um, I don't know why I do that. Uh, I should be hungry after an hour now but maybe it's just going to take a couple more weeks. So. I really, really have to make sure maybe I should get a watch with a timer and every 60 minutes it'll go off and I'll know I have to eat. Maybe I should do something like that. But um, all in all, I just think I'm not getting enough calories during the day. I'm still not eating after dinner. I'm not hungry. I feel great. My body feel, feels great. I really think that this type of diet is really working for me. And it's not a diet just as I lose weight. It's I changed my eating habits. I'm going to eat like this forever. I'm not going to go back to the way that I was eating before. I'm teaching myself how to eat. That was a really big priority for me, not just to lose weight, but to learn how to eat and to stay that way. It's not like I'm saying once I hit goal, I'm going to go out and, and eat a cake and get a bucket of chicken. I'm going to have pizza again. No, I'm not. Um, I don't look at those foods anymore as uh, good. I don't know why. I just something clicked in my brain and food has become something to feed me. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have some of that stuff once in a while, but it's not going to be like I'm going to be thinking about it. Oh God, I had a piece of pizza. Um, you know, my diet's ruined. No, it's not. Um, it's just that 99.9% .9 of the time I'm going to be eating raw, pretty much healthy, unprocessed, low carb, foods and we all know what's good for us. We know that chips and hamburgers and hot dogs and luncheon meats and bread and noodles, those things aren't good for us. Those things aren't nutritious. So I'm just not eating those things and uh, maybe it will crash on me and I'll just binge for like a week one day. I don't know, but uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying. So um, yeah, everything's going good. I'm hoping to reach 209.8 soon. Um, maybe it'll take me another week. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe if I'm not getting enough calories, my body's in starvation. I'm not sure. Um, one really good thing about eating this way, just eating a bit at a time all day long, I've noticed is that my stomach like itself, not like outwardly, but inwardly as an organ, has shrunk. I cannot eat as much as I used to in one sitting. I used to be able to go to the pub with my boyfriend and order like, a, you know, a huge pub-sized uh, fish and chips, 
with coleslaw and then we'd have wings and he'd get poutine of course I have to try his poutine and I'd eat everything on my plate the garnish everything plus have like two huge rum and cokes with not not with diet coke and dark rum too so you know and then an hour later I could eat more so I don't know how I used to do that now I have about two cups of food at dinner and that's not very much and last night okay last night for an example we just had a salad made of lettuce that you know we grew ourselves and I cut up raw carrots and put that in there and then emptied a can of tuna right in there um, and then just added some dressing and mixed it all up it wasn't that much it wasn't an over full bowl it wasn't like you know a lot it was like less than a bowl it was not peeking over the rim and I said to my boyfriend you know I'm gonna be hungry after this what am I gonna eat in an hour and and so you know I thought of what I was going to and then I came back upstairs and I never got hungry again um, until you know like four hours later and uh, I decided I needed a snack so I had just a slice of cheese with a slice of tomato on it and you know this stuff fills me up because I'm not eating large amounts anymore I don't need to there's always something in my stomach so I'm not starving myself but I'm not giving it uh, an overload either I'm not eating usually more than you know a couple of ounces at a time or a piece of fruit and it's great it's really working if I do go out to a restaurant now or if I do eat with other people we had a dinner party the other day it's so funny because you know after I eat even a little bit over what I normally eat now I am so full like uncomfortable I could not eat anywhere near what I used to be able to eat even just a couple months ago so um, I strongly believe in smaller portions it seems like you're gonna be so hungry but the thing is the key is to smaller portions is that you eat all the time and uh, little tiny things unprocessed food that's good for you um, it's not hard to just stock up on fruit the perfect fruit is like apricots plums little tiny fruit you know I can't even finish a whole banana at this point and lots of water I drank so much water as I said a hundred thousand times before so it's all working really well I don't think I'm getting enough calories so I do have to look into that I don't want to count calories I'm not counting calories um, I refuse to count calories it's bullshit I hate it uh, it's fucked up it fucks with your brain I hate it so I'm not doing it so uh, if it works for you great but it doesn't work for me so that's how I'm eating it's working I'm still losing weight I have been losing weight for a long time and uh, right now I'm just waiting for that you know big like I wake up one morning and I look in the mirror and I'm like oh my god I see a difference I really see a difference this time and I know that happens because I've lost weight before it happens in chunks you don't see it every day and I'm just waiting for that I'm not being impatient I'm just waiting and I think that every other day that I have to wait for it um, is gonna be it's gonna be even more exciting and more awesome so it's Thursday and uh, I am working out today later I'll let you know how that goes I am drinking water I'm gonna go get something awesome to eat because I just had a little bit of cereal and skim milk this morning and already I'm hungry and then I have some work to do mm, I'd rather just stay and hang out with you because you're so awesome and I love you but I have stuff to do so and I should take my dogs for a walk but I'm not gonna say that too loud because then they'll get really hyper um, okay so have a really great day and I hope everybody's doing well and everyone's staying positive and staying on plan because it's the only way you're gonna do it bye